This is going to be a really quick tutorial of how to set up a Honeywell whole house humidifier. Um, the model that I'm installing today is the HE360. Most of the models are pretty similar though. So I'll show you what it takes to get one of these things running. Each humidifier comes with a template in the package. You can see I've cut a square. Here's a template paper right here. I put it on the duct that I want to open the hole in and I use a permanent marker and cut the hole. Now you can cut the hole with something like that or you can use the arsenal of tools that it might require. Here's a um, multi-cutter jigsaw and when in doubt break out the metal cutting uh, angle saw. Now that you've got your square hole cut in your ductwork, you can put the first piece in. Now there's little tabs on the bottom and top that you have to work in place. They go behind the sheet metal. You can see that little tab right there. That little tab will go behind the sheet uh, metal and the front part stays on the outside. So you kind of have to play with it to get it in. Then you're going to use a level to get it straight. If you've done a good job cutting your hole out, that the base of the humidifier will just fit right in there and you can see I have a level on there it won't hurt uh, since water trickles down you want it to go evenly through the filter all right you have to uh, once you've got the hole cut out and you've got the frame for the humidifier installed you have to put the six screws around the peripheral edge uh, you'll have to drill them and install them they're not self tappers next you reinsert the uh, pad. This is a brand new pad. You can see it kind of looks a little like it's been used. That is new, so that's how they look. Make sure you run your tube here along the edge and it, uh, you insert it up top. That's the, where the water will come in and then what happens is the water just drips, flows over this um, pad here and the air movement pushes that humidity into the air. I've tightened the thumb screw on the bottom and I put, in the cup, put the cover on, it looks good. I need to connect the water supply line, which goes right here. And then there's the drain, which goes right here. And that should go into, if you're above ele elevation, it'll just go into a drain. Otherwise, it'll have to go into some sort of pump to move it up. That's what I'll have to do. Pretty straightforward. That's the most difficult part of the install done.